Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel and welcome back to another tool review. Today I've got a cool tool from Milwaukee. It's a cutoff tool and of course it's cordless as all the Milwaukee tools I'm buying from my shop from now on. And here it is up close. It's got an M12 battery. It's the three inch compact cutoff tool number 2522-20. I did come across this tool by accident online and I thought I gotta get this tool for my shop. It's so compact and small and powerful. It is the fuel version of the Milwaukee cordless tools. Now the Milwaukee fuel tools are the professional grade and they have a brushless motor. It uses a lot less battery. Now when I bought this tool I did not get the battery. I had to buy the battery separate so you get the tool, you get one cutting disc, you get all this paperwork, you get this attachment here and you do get another disc like this and another one like this and you can see them on the box here there's a diamond tile blade a metal cutoff wheel the dust shoe and the carbide abrasive blade and you do get another flange here that goes on the tool underneath the disc and you get the allen wrench to remove and install the blades and here's what i paid for it with tax the original price was $181.26. We pay 13% tax for a grand total of $204.82. And I did get free shipping, so that was handy. Now, the main reason I bought this tool, guys, is because sometimes I need to go cut small parts and it's awkward to get a big angle grinder in there, which doesn't fit half the time. And also with the cordless tools is I don't need to carry a cord or have power where I'm going to do the cutting. I can cut shear pins off snow blowers that are hard to reach. And also, if I just want to go in the yard and cut something, I just grab the tool and go ahead and do it because most of the time I will not have power out there. And also guys, I prefer using my cordless tools if I can in the shop because I don't have cords that I can trip in, air hoses and stuff like that. Now there's some specs here I can show you on the box. The RPMs are 20,000. Arbor size is 3 8 And it goes on and on here. What I'm going to do is put a link under the video to where you can look at all the specs of this tool. And apparently the warranty on this tool is five years. If you bought it with a battery, the battery gets two years warranty. So I'll give you a close up look of the tool. Again, it's the M12 battery. You just pull it out like that. And I do recommend that you use the bigger batteries that come with the Milwaukee tools. I've got the XC 6.0, which is a very powerful battery. It lasts a long time. You can get the XC 3.0, 4.0 or the tiny batteries, but I do recommend that you get the bigger one for this tool. And it just snaps right into the tool. There's a lock here for the trigger. You can go reverse or forward. When you see the white here in the middle, it is locked. So if you want to go in reverse, you just push it in and whatever the white lines up to, that's the direction you're going to get. Now, when you want to replace the disc, what you need to do is lock it up up here. I do recommend though before you remove the disc to lock the trigger and remove the battery for safety precautions. And then just grab the allen wrench that came with the tool and remember that it's reverse threaded. So you're going to have a flange here on top of the disc and one below the disc. And there's a third flange that came with the tool in the box and then just reinstall whatever disc you're going to be using in your shop. I mostly use the metal cutting discs. So I'm just going to leave the tool in the shop with the metal cutting disc on it all the time. So it's quite easy to replace the disc, tighten it up again in reverse. And also guys, you don't need to buy the original Milwaukee cutting discs. I bought a box of 3M metal cutting discs here. I got these on Amazon for a good price and these are good quality as well. Just as good as these ones or better. Now I've only had the tool for about two weeks in my shop, but I've used it almost every day. So I'm going to show you a few situations in the shop here where I have used this tool already. So sometimes I'll use that small tool to reach in and cut some shear pins because I cannot reach in with a big grinder like this sometimes. Now with this tool, I can reach right in and just go and cut the shear pin. Make absolutely sure you're wearing safety glasses when you use this tool. So what I'll do here is cut this shear pin just to show you how this tool works. Now, if you find the sparks are going towards your face, you can always switch the direction like I'm going to do now. Ah! 
And that was the exact time it took to cut the shear pin. I did not cut out the video. So there you go. Now I've got a quarter inch bolt here. I'm gonna cut through that. I'll keep the camera rolling the whole time so you see how long it actually takes. And I'll do another cut here again. And it's pretty quick. So now what I'll do is put a bigger bolt. I'll put a 5 16 And we'll see how it cuts through a 5 16 bolt now. That's pretty quick for a small little grinder like that. Now I've got a piece of metal. It's about 3 8 It comes from a snowblower chute control mechanism. Now I'm pretty impressed for a small little grinder like that to cut through metal like this that quick. I've seen bigger cordless angle grinders that were slower than this. Now if you're wondering what these little lights here are for, it's to tell you how charged up your battery is. This battery is fully charged and there's also a little light here that comes on and stays on a little bit after you shut it off. It does come in handy sometimes. So overall I'm very pleased with this tool. If you have a repair shop, this thing will come in so handy for you. And it even has a screen here to protect the motor from debris. And it's the M12 fuel brushless motor in this tool. And it does not feel cheap in your hands, it feels of good quality. And the handle here does feel good as well. It's nice and smooth and you've got a good grip. It's very ergonomic. And here's how wide the tool is, about five inches just under. And depending on the battery you're using, you're looking at about nine inches long. If you use the smaller battery, it will be shorter. And it's a good tool if you're left-handed or, or right-handed as well. And here's my whole fleet of Milwaukee tools for my shop. These are all cordless tools. This is another tool I just recently purchased and has come in very, very handy in the shop. I use this Hagsall with a metal blade. I even have multiples and triples of certain tools like the small quarter inch impacts. I have three. Some of them you can put bits in and the other one's just a quarter inch drive right here. Now some people say I'm crazy to have all these tools, but you know what? When you're busy in your shop, you don't want to be looking for a tool that you may have misplaced. If you have a few, there's always one ready to go. And if you go out somewhere to do a small job, you can just bring another one with you. If you have a friend in your shop or somebody helping you, they can use their own tool as well. Now, if you stick with one brand name, you can use the batteries in multiple tools. So basically I use these M12 batteries in a lot of small tools and the other ones are M18s. And all I do is I buy different sizes of batteries, usually the bigger ones for the bigger tools. You just get more use out of your tool with one battery that way and more power. So I'm extremely happy with this tool, guys. If you buy this tool for your shop, you're going to say, how did I manage without it for so long? And again, I was not sponsored to make this video today. I just like to do an honest review, guys, of tools that I've tried in my shop. The purpose of my videos is to help you guys out there to make decisions when you buy tools. Now, if you are going to buy this tool, you can check Home Depot. But if you buy it on Amazon, guys, just check the prices because I've noticed on there that they can vary drastically. So I've got the link below the video on all the specs of this tool. Just check it out. Also, there are links to other Milwaukee tool reviews that I've done. So please comment below, guys, if you have this tool. Also, let us know what tools you use in your shop that are cordless, whether it's Milwaukee, DeWalt, or Makita, or whatever else. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and that you're following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And have a great day.